it's us again, Brian and Melissa, and uh, we're just driving. We're driving uh, down south of Colorado, so we are coming down from Buena Vista to Pagosa Springs. So, um, you might have heard of the Arkansas River. A lot of people go rafting around here. It's been great. My hair's a little wet because we jumped into the river earlier today. Woo! It's been an adventure. So, we have a little documentary of our 10-day Colorado road trip that's coming out for you. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, do all the bells, the whistles, so you can get all that extra footage. And it just makes you want to like move to these places, right? Like, why am I vacationing here? Why don't I just live here? Because it's gorgeous. Right, we actually did a little clip uh, when we went up to Wisconsin a couple weeks back, July 4th actually. Same kind of question. We want to we don't want to dialogue it a little bit more here. And then, then after that, I'm gonna take a shot of honey. What's that? You'll see. <laughs> so, here's the thing. It is gorgeous, and of course, you always are like, we're always like, gosh, can we move here? What's stopping us, right? What's stopping us? Why don't we live here? Well, here's some things stopping us. Um, our jobs are not here. So that's kind of a huge thing. So I actually lived in Colorado in a few different parts, but I had to move around a lot because the jobs are that I'm qualified for because I'm not in the medical field or, or banking or real estate. Um, other jobs are quite seasonal. So I started making a living in Southwest Colorado. Right, could you actually, you know, because could you actually, I guess, settle with a very low income? You know, like, because there are other jobs, but they're just not paying very well, right? So you can open up a little shop, a little stand, but you're just not going to bring it in, um, you know, to really have that maybe lifestyle that you want. I don't know. I don't know. So do you, like, sacrifice that very low budget, you know, lifestyle, and you get to have more play, but then you don't have the money to maybe do some of the play? It's just a, a balance, right? But if you're closer to the city, like Denver or Chicago or wherever, there's just more jobs you can and the potential to earn a lot more obviously right and I'm like well I see a lot of people do things like I see a lot of people like they have like their little shop downtown their bike shop their dog store shop whatever it is um, and they seem like they're making ends meet again you only know so much you only know what you see you don't know if they're like stressed out at home because they are just paying the bills like from their living paycheck to paycheck or what um, I don't know if they're in debt like up the yin yang or what but yep. people do it obviously I just don't know yeah it's hard to say the one thought we were talking about this on our last hike here uh, you know Dave Ramsey a bunch of people quote like something like 77% are living paycheck to paycheck you know would that include these people out here too right so there's a lot of people riding these like $7,000 mountain bikes you know like are they in debt to do this lifestyle and it's like, you know, people are all over the map. Some probably are, some probably have the money, some might just be rich, you know, so you can't really just say, oh, it's just this. But if her and I are, you know, if we were to try to do this, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I'm a teacher, so I'd have to find one school that actually has the, you know, I'm in a certain apartment. So it's like, it's hard. It's like, I don't know, I'd probably have to change careers, honestly. Um, yeah. And, yeah, you know. and I'm a youth minister, so, um, to find a paid position to do that anyways is like <laughs> really hard let alone one that pays like a living wage so between you know a teacher and a youth minister how would we do this um, you know whether or not other people can do it whatever but can we do it so we were like I don't know anyways yeah. and I mean we definitely have goals financial goals to retire at a decent age right 65 or whatever it's gonna be and to, to be done with worrying about money and that takes a little bit of suffering, and that means earning a paycheck and maybe not having as much fun now. However, on the flip side, you know, the classic thought is, well, you'll be so old, you won't be able to do anything, you know? So there's that idea. You kind of wrestle with where's the healthy balance, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, other ideas, like, okay, so a job is huge, right? That kind of determines, and throughout all history, where you can, like, make the bread and butter is where you're going to live. That's where people live, right? So jobs but then also like family right so my family here a lot of my family well at least my parents are in Colorado um, but the rest of my family isn't and uh, his family isn't anywhere near here so like there's another consideration like 
That's a classic. Yeah, the family, right? Um, even if we were to be right here, now you're closer to your family, you're still hours away. It's not like, oh, they're going to come over and see their grandkids every day. It's just like, that's a classic. Like, why do we stay in the area? You know, my brother and I talk about it all the time. So we're outside the kind of Chicago suburbs, just in the country there. It's like, whoever settled us here, now we're locked in, right? Because all our jobs here, my nephews, my niece, you know, like, you're just sort of locked in. And like, yeah, it's, there's a lot good going on there but you're sort of locked in. Cause if you move, oh, your mom's gonna be all over you. She's gonna be crying all the time. So like, that's a real thing, you know, and I would miss them too. And uh, so it's like, you know, I thank her all the time for coming out to live with me <laughs> as my wife, you know, she's far from family. And, uh, but yeah, it's just like, if you have people, it's hard to just say, we're gone. You know, we're gonna go live up in Montana. And uh, yeah, so. Right, and like that community, here's another thing that I always think about. Okay, so we both wanna live on land, but like I desire to be in community as well, right? And um, and it's hard not to be able to like have neighbors and just like get to know your neighbors. We have neighbors now, we don't even know them. Um, so maybe that isn't a big issue. But what about, yeah, just being so remote and not being able to commune with others and find like a church family. We're headed down to Pagosa Springs, Colorado right now to go see some friends. Speaking of community, I miss my friends. Like I don't get to see them all the time and I have friends spread throughout the world. Um, and it's like, it's hard not being around them. Um, I also, I lived in some small towns where I was able to just walk to the grocery store and the library and to my job. And I love that if you live out in the country, you have the land, you have the space, which we both really want. Hopefully the animals, the little goats too, but you can't walk around everywhere. You have to plan and be strategic about your grocery shopping, about um, when you like, I don't know if you have to go into town to pay bills and like just do like logistical things, go to the mail, like the yeah. post office. Like there are pros and cons of that too. Yeah, you gotta really, like there's nothing perfect, right? Cause even I, as much as I wanna live out in the boonies and uh, have tons of land and be staring at all the nature, um, and I don't really have this great desire to be around like thousands of people So it's like I think I could do it for a while, but eventually you're still gonna want some community I think even myself <laughs> Any introverts out there, you know, and that's like you just see the classic bar Everyone came from 22 miles out just to get together and like see each other or something like that Yeah, so but here's some benefits of moving I mean, okay, not just moving but moving to a place you want to live, <laughs> right? Because a lot of people move all the time and they don't necessarily want to be there. But um, moving to a place you want to live, like out here um, in the mountains for us, you know, some people want to live on the beach, some people want to live on an island, whatever it is. But like, what are some of the benefits? Like we just come out here and our, at least for, I can speak for myself, like my soul is just at rest in a way. Like I'm not in the middle of a city we're in the suburbs I just I'm in nature and that like calms me and it in a way it really does like there's just a whole different mindset that you're just in awe um, of this beauty and it's like I like to think that I can find beauty anywhere and I really try to um, but it's just so much harder some places uh, to find beauty there's a reason why people go on vacation they go, right? They don't stay on vacation. I mean, you can do a staycation. Sometimes it's okay, but yeah, there's a reason. You try to come out to this beauty that you otherwise can't really live into uh, for whatever reasons, jobs and all the other things, family, like we mentioned. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's me too. As soon as I'm out liking these things, I'm just like, oh my God, same thing. It's just like, you just feel like something, um, what would I say, innate, innate. you know, something yeah. original. Primal. Something primal, really, honestly. You just feel like, yeah, this is how we were pretty much developed. You know, living out of the land and, uh, you know, jumping in the cold water. Ooh, that was a nice one, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those were some thoughts about, you know, why do we move? Should we move? Um, obviously, it's the Lord's call. If he wants us to be in the city, we'll live in the city. We won't like it very much, but we'll live there. <laughs> we'll make it the best we can. Because that's sometimes what you got to do. Like, for the kingdom, you do things people missionaries live in places that they don't necessarily want to be but they have like this greater purpose and so that's ultimately what it is right but yeah um, I mean I think of like my great grandparents came over on the boat right you know literally and that's why we're in Chicago now settled and my family's grown since there a couple generations right and that's why I'm there but it, it's just like she says it always comes back to the Lord's call where is he calling me 
for whatever reason, at this point, he's keeping me in the same land they settled in back in early 1900. <laughs> and uh, even though we desire, I strongly desire more of the country setting um, where you can do a lot more adventuring, like something like this. But uh, we try to make the best with it, you know. Um, Earth is a time to definitely develop the kingdom, community, you know, all these people, all these students that I would never see if I was living out in these boonies, doing whatever I want to do. Uh, you got to think like that. It's like, it's not all about me. Maybe that's why I could just be grateful that I get to at least have vacations and go out. Yeah, yeah I totally second that. Um, even though I'm not living where I'd love to live and being able to do the things that I want to do, which is a real struggle a lot of the times, um, the fact that I get to work with the teenagers that I get to work with and hopefully um, help them grow and, and support them through the th trials of teenage life and uh, going through high school during a pandemic like you know just to be able to be a smile and a joy to them like maybe that's that's more important than um, all of the adventures that I wish I could be having and so. it is in heaven we're gonna be like I mean we're not gonna you're not gonna regret oh you stayed you stayed in the community and you saved a couple souls or you know the, the right. Lord worked here yeah, to teach them about himself like you are not gonna regret that oh I wish I was sitting on a rock and that kid was not saved it's just, like, <laughs> right. it's just like but you know we just don't think like that all the time we need to be reminded um we wish we could have it all right we wish we could have it all we will have it all at one point but okay. it's tough right now um at times <laughs> who knows though maybe the lord will call us how can you guys help out well just keep sharing this channel and it becomes so big we'll go get ourselves a little mountain house <laughs> and we'll literally work full time on this thing and just get creative but uh until that happens you better take some honey shots until that happens right so that's right we got a honey shot coming up i took this from the little smoothie shop we we're just at all right i don't know why i don't know why just a little cup of honey here i can't even get off my hand it's so sticky uh, oh oh yeah that's strong <laughs> too much sugars and that's us brian and melissa subscribe like we love you thanks for watching bye